volume two. I suppose brevity was never in your arsenal of superpowers. Did you bring it? Behold, my remote controller. Preloaded with the key codes to deactivate every one of my birds in the sky. Granny's intel was spot on. Let's find that bottle. Oh, guys. Uncle Otis is gonna protect you no matter what. Otis? Hand over the bottle. You didn't actually think I was gonna give you the real key codes, did you? No. Word of advice, next time you land on somebody else's planet, try one where the sun boosts your brain and your brawn. Oh, but I just remembered. For you, there won't be a next time. Satellites are coming into alignment. Somebody got a little boo-boo in their head? No, we are not! Get him out! I must have shut down the satellites. Yeah. I'll activate myriad and astronomical brain functions. I'm afraid we haven't time for any last words, dream girl. It's dreamer! <laughs> Let's hope we're not too late for Kara. What? No pleading, no helpful pontification about how I can change and learn to be a better person and oh, wow, wow, wow. That's your problem, Kara. You, Leviathan, you're all the same. Pushing an agenda, trying to make humanity bend in ways that it just doesn't want to. Like you tried to bend Lena, bidding her against me. You're a man with alien DNA coursing through him, thinking he knows what's best for this world. Sound familiar? Sounds like someone willing to do whatever it takes to save humanity. <laughs>